guys actually it's good afternoon good afternoon guys <laughs> good afternoon guys so we are heading for some Peruvian fast food mm -hmm. we're gonna be trying some Peruvian style burgers and we're heading to a place that I, I like we visited two years ago this place yes. is called Bembo's right around the corner and unfortunately you still have chubby chipmunk <laughs> cheeks oh, from yeah. your uh, <laughs> from your little I surgery. feel like we need to address my yeah. face yes you had your so wisdom in case removed. you missed it all four came out yeah. so I'm looking a little Black and green, yep. you know, under the chin. And this is day four, so yeah. I'm going to be doing most of the eating. But um, Audrey, you might be able to have a few things, hopefully. Maybe so. ice cream. Ho 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 ho! Gosh, these are the medium size. They're huge. I know. They're huge. I know. <laughs> and to think that's not even the biggest size you can get. That looks amazing. I wish I could eat the burger. I feel like I'm gonna try and nibble a little bit just yeah. to get a taste. I hope you can. I hope you can, really. Okay, so we are about to have a major burger session here. I know. Three of them. Three of them, but I'm gonna be eating most of it. Yeah, and the cool thing about Bembos is yeah. that they have very unique burgers with a bit of a Peruvian twist. Well, yeah, they're 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 Peruvian style burgers. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like for instance, this one is called the Salty Papa. So basically, if you take a look inside here, you'll see like the cut up hot dog, okay, and then you've got your your small Papa Fritas, your small French fries, and then this is the special sauce, and then you've got basically your burger and your cheese. And here he goes. And I think it's mm. kind of unusual, like having those little chips inside the burger. That's not it gives something it a you nice see crunch. everywhere. Yeah. And I really like the the cut up hot dog. Like it's so much better than just normal hot dog. It just yeah. gives it a, an extra bit of a kick, a bit of a spice. Yeah. This is a really good burger. Like. And you know, this burger is called Salchi Papa because yeah. there is a fast food dish where it's French fries with slices of hot dog. Yeah, exactly. And like cheese and that's sauces. So, that's something that we've had before here yeah. in Lima, and it, it, it's a really good, like, really one of our favorite fast food snacks yeah. to be honest. So yeah. to have it in burger form is really cool. And you know what's funny? Coming back here two years later. There's certain things I remember about this place. I remember they're like blasting loud music before, <laughs> yeah. and it's exactly the same today. Yeah. Yeah. Some things don't change and that's kind of cool. Is he ready for hamburger number two? Number two. And this one is the most jacked of the three. It has the most ingredients inside. So this one is called Bembos a la Pobre. Mm. We open it up and yeah. you see we've got mayonnaise on top. We've got our egg. Yeah, fried and egg. And then this is the coolest part, in my opinion, the uh, the fried plantain. Yeah. And it's usually a little bit sweet, if I remember correctly. And then underneath, check out all of those onions, guys. And then and tomatoes. Tomato. So that should be a really juicy burger, you know, with the egg and the plantain and the onion. It's a lot of different flavors going on. So time for the first big bite here. I'm gonna try to get a bit of everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Such an eclectic mix. It's like my, the first thing I tasted was the onions, but then I, then my teeth like sunk into the burger, <laughs> and then there was the sweetness of the of the of the banana, the plantain, mm -hmm. and egg. It just it's a really eclectic burger. And yeah. In terms of ingredients, it's probably your best bang for your buck that you can get here in Bembo. It's like there's just a lot of ingredients going on. If you're really hungry, this is definitely the burger for you. Yeah, and also I have to say, like we're having the hamburger a lo pobre. Yeah. But you can get this dish with rice yes and like with your plantain and your yep. meat it's so not I, just a burger again this is inspired by a typical typical peruvian food yeah in burger form so this <laughs> is again a very unique peruvian burger all right guys and before we reveal the third hamburger we're gonna get audrey trying a little something she um, can eat fries with those chubby chipmunk cheeks so let's get I can in there eat them near the front of my mouth <laughs> yeah, exactly. so we're rolling with that we're rolling with it we're rolling with it so Got some fries. They're yeah. really nice and crispy. Yeah. And what I love about Bembos here in Peru is that you can get it with ají amarillo, yeah. which is a spicy sauce made with yellow pepper. Yeah. It's a hot pepper. And yeah, it's just so good. It's. I prefer it to ketchup, to be honest. Uh -huh. Absolutely. The only problem is it's too spicy and it's burning my. Oh wounds. no! Oh no! 
You're not supposed to eat spicy food. Oh well, you're gonna have to wash it down oh. with the local chicha morada, purple corn. Chicha morada, yeah. So this is my go-to anytime we're at a restaurant. I'll yeah. drink chicha morada. I think it's pretty much the most refreshing drink you can get in Peru. Like, I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, guys, last but not least, we are having, I think it's, is it called the Huacana burger? Huachana. Oh, Huachana. Okay, so this burger right here has egg. Yeah. It's got those crispy little potato chips in there. Right here. It has mayo. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so Lettuce. It has the burger. What else did I say? Oh, the sausage. Salchicha yes. de Wacho. It's a type of sausage. Okay. So let's try it finally. Mm hmm. Another big bite for mm. Sam. I taste more of the egg than anything else. Really? Mm, yeah. Whoa. I'm curious about the sausage. I think it's supposed to be spicy. Like that, that orange it. stuff yeah. you see in there? I'm, I'm, I'm not tasting it that strongly. There's a little really? bit in there, but to be honest, I mean, it's a decent burger, but out of the three, this is probably my least favorite. I like the other two more. Yeah? I mean, it's still decent, but the other two, those ones are top notch. And out of the other two, which one do you think you would choose? The salty papa or mm. a lo pobre with the plantain? Okay. I really like the salty papa for the kind of like the spicy hot dogs. Yeah. But I think if I was hungry, I would go for the second burger because it has the most ingredients mm. and the plantain for the win. Dessert is here, those pastries. So they're both ice cream. One is with the Doña Pepa, yeah. which is the famous Peruvian cookie covered with the, the chocolate the sprinkles? and spark sprinkles. Yep, and chocolate sauce. And this one over here, I think is called Kua Kua. Oh. And it looks like chocolate wafers and we have Manjar Blanco, which is oh, like man. the sweet of the milk. The roughly translated milk. <laughs> in, in English. It doesn't translate so well. I, I tend to think of it as caramel sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this I can certainly enjoy in my condition. Yes. So we found something Audrey can do. Something I can finally enjoy. She can so enjoy in this Sam video. I went downstairs and got us yeah. two ice creams. They're both vanilla. Yeah. With different toppings. That's right. This one is the Doña Pepa style, which is a popular cookie with yeah. sprinkles. And they also put some sprinkles here with chocolate sauce. Question. Already had a little Just taste random there. question. Do they, do they have Doña Pepas in Argentina? Did you grow up eating those? No. No. Okay. No. Didn't think so. I thought they were uniquely Peruvian. Mm -hmm. Cool. So. Uniquely Peruvian fast food dessert. <laughs> this is nice. I really like this with the chocolate sauce. Yeah, it's so colorful. And then over here, we have the kuak. Is it kuak? Kua. Yeah. And those I are think the... last time we were calling it kua kua. Yeah. And then my aunt was like, no, it's kua kua like a duck. Kua kua, kua, kua like a duck. <laughs> and you can't, so, you can't have the biscuits. Yeah, no, I can't bite into that, but this does have manjar blanco. Yeah, that caramel and that sauce. I can certainly enjoy. Oh, yeah. And do you have a favorite amongst the two? The Doña Pepa? The chocolate. Cool. I just really like the chocolate sauce and sprinkles. All right, my turn to try them. Hey. Okay. All right, and unlike you, I can actually bite into the biscuits here. All so right, enjoy. Let's try that. I've got lots of sparkles on my ice cream. Lots of sparkles. Sparkles or sprinkles? Sprinkles. Why do I just call them sparkles? <laughs> And you can use the cookie like a spoon if you want to, mm. to scoop your oh. ice cream. I love that cookie. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Yeah. Oh yeah. That would make a nice little spoon too. We right. have a whole bunch of those cookies in my grandma's house mm. right now. And I'm going to try the chocolate sauce. Oh, do we? Yeah. Alright. Mmm. That is so good. Okay. Now on to the... Kua kua! Kua kua! kua, kua. Okay. So I'm going to make sure I get lots of Manhart Blanco here because I am a Manhar Blanco fan. In fact, my favorite Peruvian desserts all have Manhar Blanco. Like my favorites are churros called Manhar Blanco, the churros mm -hmm. filled with this. And my second favorite is the Chirimoya with Manhar Blanco. So yeah. anything with Manhar Blanco is a hit. Let's try that first. Oh yeah. I definitely prefer that over chocolate sauce. But now to see if this... Um, Qua -qua. Qua -qua. Mm. Okay, that's just a light chocolate um, wafer. Yeah. I definitely prefer, I, okay, so I gotta explain this. I prefer this more than, than to the You like the cookie, the donut but, pepper cookie better. But I prefer the manjar blanco sauce yeah. to the chocolate. So it's I'm kind of mixed as to yeah. which. I, I would probably go for the donut pepper if I had push came to shove because the biscuit's better. 
Okay, and I'll also mention, these are like the Peruvian style soft serve ice creams. Yep. But you can also get the classic one with like, you know, the hot fudge and like yeah. the strawberry sauce. Oh, Basically right. the same thing you'd find at McDonald's. Yeah, you exactly. Can also get here. And they have a little stand down there, and you can also order it off of the street. There's people just walking yeah, down the street yeah. grabbing them as as like a refreshing like dessert or snack. Yeah, but these are cooler. These are cooler. Way cooler. These definitely have more going on. All right, it is that time price point. So it came to 65 soles, which right now is roughly 20 US dollars. And yeah, that was a lot of food. So I'm just gonna recap what we had. So that was two chicha morada drinks. Mm -hmm. Then we had three giant burgers. They were medium size, oh, but wow. they were massive. <laughs> they were big, believe me. A thing of fries and two desserts. So I thought that was pretty good value, about roughly $10 per person. Yeah. And yeah, um, I wouldn't normally come in and eat three burgers. I basically had to eat all the burgers. So <laughs> my gosh, am I ever stuffed. I'm gonna need a big <laughs> but siesta. But you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. And I didn't eat all the buns, I have to confess, because I wanted to get into the toppings. Otherwise, that would have filled me up. But yeah, that's that's pretty good fast food. And if you're going to come to Peru and you're looking for something like unique, you want to try Peruvian style kind of fast food, this is definitely the place because Bembo's has all of these different types of burgers. Like, we didn't even order all the ones that you can get here. So definitely check it out. And we'll see you guys in the next food video from Lima, Peru. Ciao for now.